Hi, it's my favorite time of day, the time of day when I get to read a good book to you. Today we're going to read Sharks, and this is a special book for several reasons. One of them is because it was given to me by one of my students, Andrew. He likes to read about animals and science. I hope some of you do too. It's also special because look at the pictures on here. They're very shiny and pretty, and I love the pictures in here, but they do have a little bit of a glare on them sometimes because they're so shiny and pretty. It's also special because look at this, flaps. And these flaps give us extra information about sharks in addition to what's already in the text. So that makes it kind of fun. It was written actually by three different people, written and illustrated. Peter Scott, Philip Clark, and Reuben Behrens all worked on this book. So I hope you like it. Let's learn about sharks. About sharks. Sharks are a type of fish. Most have sleek bodies to help them glide smoothly through the water. Sharks swish their tails from side to side to push themselves along. They can't swim backwards. Oh no, I'm stuck. But their bodies are very bendy so they can twist around in a flash. I'm free. Sharks bite so hard their teeth often snap off. He says, ah, oh, you miss me. No worries, I've got lots of teeth. They have many rows of teeth. When one tooth breaks, another slowly moves up to fill in the gap. These smaller sharks will be gobbled up by the big shark if they don't move quickly. Did you know big sharks eat smaller sharks? That's interesting. I also like this book because it has these subheadings and that gives us a little heads up about what this section is going to be about. And this one is called Hungry Hunters. So I'm thinking this page is going to be about maybe what they hunt or how they hunt. Great white sharks are fierce hunters with sharp jagged teeth and strong jaws. They eat big fish and dolphins, but best of all, they like to eat seals. Look at the poor little seal. And he says, you won't catch me. Before the great white bites, it opens its mouth wide and thrusts its jaws forward to make its mouth as big as it can. And look what happens. Ah, oh yes I will. After a good meal, great whites can go without eating for weeks. Sharks don't hunt people, but they sometimes think swimmers look like seals and take a bite by a snake. Tiger sharks are less fussy than great whites. They eat fish, turtles, junk, in fact, just about anything. Some very strange things have been found inside tiger sharks' tummies. Let's see what's in his tummy. What? A tire? My goodness, he ate a tire. Yuck. This guy says, I'm off. Look at the subheading here. Baby sharks, do 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 do. Baby sharks, do 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 do. Okay, I knew you wanted to do that. Baby sharks are called pups. They look like their parents, only they're much smaller. These are blue shark pups. Mother sharks leave their pups when they're born, so they have to take care of themselves. Boo! Time to go. Did you notice him sneaking up down here? Some sharks lay eggs with pups inside. Mother sharks hide the eggs to keep them safe from hungry fish. This funny shaped long egg was laid by a swell shark. Here's a pup growing inside it. When the egg hatches, the pup swims away to look for food. It's lunchtime. Whale sharks. Whale sharks are the biggest fish in the sea. They're as big as buses. Fish called remoras take rides on them. The shark's huge fins push it slowly through the water. This diver is safe. Whale sharks aren't dangerous. This is fun, but it's time to go back to my boat. Whale sharks have huge mouths. They filter tiny floating animals out of the sea. Whale sharks eat millions of them every day. I spy trouble. These yellow fish swim close to the shark to stay safe. He says, I'm hungry. Let's see what's in here. Has he gone yet?
Hammerheads. Hammerhead sharks have wide heads with an eye at each end. They can't see what's right in front of them, so they sweep their heads slowly from side to side. This way, they can see much more than other sharks. Gulp! It's seen me. Hammerhead sharks live together in big groups called schools. They're very good at sniffing things out. These sharks can smell a tasty stingray hiding in the sand. And he says, they won't see me here. No, but we know you're there. Help! Speedy sharks. Short fin makos are the fastest sharks in the ocean, so they can chase the fastest fish. This mako is sneaking up on a swift swordfish. Not so fast, Bucky. Uh-oh! The swordfish sees the shark and rockets out of the water. But makos are good at jumping, too. Thresher sharks have long, powerful tails. A thresher's tail is as long as its body. These threshers are using their tails to round up some tasty fish. Come here, little fishies. Then they stun them with their tails, and then they catch them. Whack! Strange sharks. Some sharks look so strange that you might not think they were sharks at all. Look at this guy. Does that look like a shark? Wobegong sharks look like harmless weedy rocks. Way down in the dark depths of the sea lives a strange pale pink creature called a goblin shark. Its long nose helps it find food in the murky water. Its jaws shoot forward to grip its dinner with needle-like teeth. Yum, a light snack. Oh, you need to be quick. I'm fast food. Look at his teeth. They look sharp. Many people think sharks are dangerous, but sharks are actually more in danger from us. People hunt millions of sharks each year. Unless things change, some kinds of sharks may vanish forever. And that's the end. That would not be good if sharks vanished forever, would it? It's not good when any animal vanishes forever. We need lots of kinds of animals on the earth. I hope you liked this book, and I hope that you can read more nonfiction books like this to get a lot of information about animals around the world. And thank you, Andrew, for letting me borrow it. I'll see you next time. Bye, Evan.